Uh, hello. On this video, I'm going to show you how we can improve our reporting in Oracle Apex by integrating uh, it with JS report. Mm, for this, let's quick create a sample interactive report. based on some sample data source. Uh, we can take all the columns here and stay with defaults value. Let's create this. Now you can see that we have a report here and of course uh, we soon should be able to print this report for this all we need to do is to add a process uh, the process will be based on my plugin let's just do this it's a plugin type process we can select our plugin name it for example html to pdf and the point should be on load uh, let's stay with on load before header the type is uh, html from slope content in this case, let's go next, no success message and condition type this time. Let's say that the request should be HTML to PDF. Let's change a little bit our report. And now you can see that we are able to generate a PDF from our page. Let's go back and we can very easy add a header and footer. Mm, let's first add a page number to our footer. The footer and header here we can use a HTML. So after this change we should be able to see how many page we have and which one is currently displayed. Oh, let's do the same for header. Mm, this time uh, we can add a image with our company logo, for example the same html with a url to our logo let's see how it works now we can see that we have a logo let's try to do something else on this report for example we can filter a project and say that we only want a project back tracker. Let's see how it looks like now. Of course, we can see only back trackers. 
tracker project. Mm, we can do something more. Let's see how many uh, records we have. Uh, 73. Mm, for example, we can format this report more. Let's say that um, we would like to display, highlight the cost. So if the column cost is greater than 100, we can use a yellow background for the row. And here you can see that the same will be displayed on our report. Let's go back and try to, for example, add a control break. The control break can be on project. Now you can see that we have our task break it by project, we can display this in our report. Let's do something even more advanced, like for example, chart view. We can say that project name and the budget will be displayed. Let's sum this value here. And as you can see, we have a chart which can be easy reported in PDF format. All is done without any template. This is just a conversion from HTML to PDF. Right now, you can see it works without any problem. We can easy change our the type of our chart for example let's do the count of tasks id in each project this can have more sense this type of report and now you see it works. Uh, what else we can do here? Mm -hmm. We can, for example, group our project by sum of cost and you are able to see that we can have easy this type of report. As you can see the report quality is quite nice. This is a font image, so after rendering to the PDF, it looks very good. Thank you for watching. Bye.